Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. I have our product expert, Nick, here mm -hmm. with me today. We're gonna take a look at some great gifts for coffee lovers that are all under 50 bucks, right? That's right, anything here is under $50. So let's just real quick what we're gonna look at because mm -hmm. I wanna get brewing over here, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. just real quick, let's get a quick uh, overview right and then we'll left. go more Camelback detail. Multi-Bev, both sizes. We've got some Cortado glasses from Not Neutral. The Jameson, uh, under 50. Uh, no, pick. that's just uh, a prop, <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, Nanotech 18 gram basket, the Asso short dosing ring, and then the Capresso on the go coffee maker. And then we've got a couple grinders here because we're actually yeah. gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna do grind. a little bit of a practical demonstration here. So this is a Capresso on the on go. On the go. And so it comes with that tumbler too. So we've you've got a little something cool set up over here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna grind some beans fresh. You can use pre-ground coffee if you want for this. But I love this thing. Let's take a quick look. Comes with right the 16 ounce 16 ounce stainless steel wall, stainless steel tumbler exactly tumbler. So this so. is perfect. You know if you're like in an apartment or if you want one for the office or something mm -hmm. you just want to make a quick 16 make ounce. A Single cup ground fresh works perfect for that. I know you've always wanted a single cup coffee maker. Maybe yeah. this doesn't have everything all in one, but uh, that's what the Capresso Infinity is for. You know right? how much so. I don't love the Keurigs because the coffee is horrid I'm and there's plastic sure waste? I'm you've told me. <laughs> okay, so what do we got um, going here? You set something yeah, up this here. This is pretty neat, so just real quick, this is yeah. the Camelback Multibev. We've got it in two sizes. This is the 17 and 12. 17 refers to this section here. It holds 17 ounces of liquid. 12 is for our tumbler. Uh, which you can put this nice little lid on. It feels just like you've gone to the coffee shop. And yeah, so. Um, but we've got some water in here, right? Got we've a little bit of water, got a little other surprise in here in our little storage lid. So I'm going to hand uh, that over. Am I going to take this yeah, apart? Okay, so I'm going to open up the apart. lid yeah. and see what's going on. So in here, right? Mm -hmm, right in there. And the way I understand it, this is where you can store this in here, Exactly. Right? So okay. this, they call it the snack pack sometimes. Snack packs, you, know, you can put granola in there <gasps> or maybe some coffee beans. So you're backpacking, maybe you've got a nice little... Oh, so you could grind right grinder. here? Grinder, exactly. You could take that all with you, stick it on the... You know, you know I somewhere. love hand grinding, but I'm not going to today. No. No, we're going to we use, uh, so we have the, this is the on the go. That's the on the go. And yep. then we have their Infinity Grinder. That's the Infinity, the metal version. Yeah. Metal Infinity version. Plus. This one's a little more than 50 bucks. A little more than 50 bucks, yeah. But we've got our so. beans in there, so I'm going to put them in the grinder here. And this is a, sort of a time grinder, so I'm just going to turn it on. We're going to grind our beans fresh. Mm -hmm. Oh, the shirt I have on, right? That's right. So we're doing a little bit of Joe Bean. This is the Don Francisco uh, Single Origin which is one of their Nicaragua coffees. And then, yeah, Joe Bean shirt as well. I'm really emphasizing the importance of honeybees honey in, in the coffee industry. So okay. we're done there. So our coffee is ground up, right? Mm -hmm. So I take the, so we have the water yeah. in here, um, enough to fill our cup Should that's under there. Right enough, exactly. So I'm gonna take out, so it's got a little basket in here. So you Reusable don't, basket with a wire screen, yep. Um, and then you can, for cleaning, I guess, you can take this out. Take the whole thing out, So, exactly. But we're gonna leave that in. Um, I'm going to get the coffee we just ground on the Capresso over here, put that in. And what we say, like maybe somewhere in the neighborhood of yeah, 20 or so grams like 18, or something like that? Yeah, I would say 18, 20 grams, you're good. Uh, for those of you who are curious, the multi bevs lid actually holds about 18 grams exactly. Oh, so okay. Perfect for this little demonstration that we've got going on here. So we'll turn this on and have this go while we talk about some of the yep, other things exactly. we have here. Um, it's about four and a half minutes brew time on this. Four and a half, yeah, we timed it. Uh, so and not I, too bad, really. You know, you grind your beans up in the morning. You start, you know, nope. getting your breakfast ready or whatever. Get the cup ready to go, and then basically by the time you're ready to get out the door, coffee should be done. So you could take this to your office, your in-home office. I mean, maybe? it's tiny. It <laughs> yeah. really it takes up no space at all. So. I know when when my kids were a little younger and they had the first apartment, they were like by themselves. And they're like, I don't want to make a pot, pot of coffee. <laughs> and I don't really want the Keurig thing, mm -hmm. they, they had something like this. This was, I don't know, five, ten years ago. But I, There's just but, not uh, a lot like it in terms of coffee makers that are designed for a single cup at such a affordable price point, too. Though. Yeah, yeah, like, what is it? $39.99 gets you, you know, that's all awesome. of that stuff, really. So That's awesome. All right, so let's talk, while that's brewing, yeah. let's talk about what else we have here. So the so, Camelback, we yeah, got through that, We got right? the Camelback. Um, these are Cortado glasses by Not Neutral. So they're four and a half ounces, designed specifically for a nice Cortado. So it's basically, if you want a little bit more espresso, a little bit less milk, you got a nice ratio there. And I saw, see you made one for us earlier? Uh, artfully, yes, artfully made. But we can also use this for the Jameson, right? Yep, so I, true story, I have a friend who really doesn't like coffee, which is very unfortunate given my you know job. But um, 
Is that he, enough? Should I go more? Uh, maybe a little more. Huh? A little more? Okay. Got a lot of there videos. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, not a fan of coffee, but he does enjoy a whiskey. He's got a bottle of Johnny Blue that his brother got him for his wedding that is still sitting on his shelf. And, uh, you know, he busts these glasses out whenever he wants to just enjoy a good whiskey. It's perfect for sipping. Very heavy, you know, it's thick glass. It is and, thick. You know, the nice thing, too, about these is that these are actually made here in the United States. So USA. USA. It's a really cool product. Got to like that. A and I mean, it, do, it does present very nice, yeah. obviously, for the Cortado. So we do have a couple of colors. We've got, you know, the clear, obviously, Open amber, flower. rose right there. There is smoke, which isn't seen here, which is a nice kind of black glass as well. So... Um, yeah, really mix, uh, mix and match with any of the colors that you might want. Very nice. And then now up here we have one of my favorites. This mm -hmm. is something I use all the time that's, making espresso. Right. Tell us about this one, Nick. Yeah, so it's the Nanotech 18 gram basket by Barista Pro. Um, 18 grams in this case because really if you're looking to get this as a gift for somebody, it's really going to fit in just about anything that they've got. So any commercial style 58 millimeter basket, you'll be able to swap out your stock components, replace it with that and you're good to go. And so, Mark, tell me a bit about uh, the nanotech coating. Well, I, so people don't freak out. It's not nanoparticle, right? It's just, it's like a quartz coating. It's, mm -hmm. it's more of like, you know, I think of it as like a really high quality nonstick pan yeah. that you'd use on your oven. Stuff just doesn't stick to it, but it goes way deeper than that. These yeah. are precision baskets, and that's why I like them. The, the whole pattern that's done in here is very deliberate. Mm -hmm. um, like if you look at stock baskets, I actually have one right here. There's a lot of internal ridging on the stock basket. Um, no internal ridges here. Um, you can generally grind a little finer. A little with these. finer, yeah. So you've got slightly wider holes. The flow will be a little bit better. So if you grind finer, increase the surface area. You can get a little bit of a richer extraction without impeding the flow. And these stay really, really clean. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, like all sorts of sizes. I think the doubles. There's some singles. Going anywhere, that not I think nanotech. from like maybe like 10 or 12 all the way up to 22 grams. So yeah, yeah but the 18 we like because that'll fit in any manufacturer's 58 any manufacturer's mm millimeter portafilter. 58 filter. millimeter portafilter, exactly. You don't need to go bottomless or anything like that. So I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do. Uh, this isn't really part of our thing, but this is a handy little tool, right? Yeah, it's the portafilter basket ejector, basically, and uh, you just use that to pry out the basket that's in there. So. So yeah, so put it in. And yeah, Mark did it the exact right way too. Right. Basically, just uh, get leverage on those wings and just pop it right out. And I'm going to pop in this one. That's how I like to pop them. Um, so next up we have the ASO. This is the dosing short That's dosing. That's the ring. dosing ring. Yeah, there's two heights. There's short and tall. So uh, actually, but let me yeah. show you the magic, right? Oh, yeah. Can I show the magic? Because I'm going to put it on upside down. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's crazy. So right. So I mean, you can it, tell it's the real steel. It's the real steel. It's the real deal. <laughs> I like that. So uh, there are, you know, we, we have some other, oh, and our coffee's done here. Coffee's done. Um, I've used some other dosing rings. They don't have that magnet on there. So what I do is if I'm overdosing a basket, maybe just a little bit, or I've got a grinder that's, mm -hmm. you know, not great about getting the coffee right in the center. These are beautiful. But a lot of times I'll pull them off and I'm shaking them a little bit, right, to kind of settle the grounds and get them in there before yeah. I remove it. And a lot of times those dosing, the ones that don't have the magnets, they just kind of fall off, yeah. and that's no good. So let me show you how this works. So we have a Bezerra BB, BB 005. I call it the Bubba 5. I will agree to disagree on <laughs> okay. that one. One of the best values in a machine, in fact, the yeah. best value in a machine grade so. um, kind of grinder. Um, so this is how it works. Set it in and make sure all your coffee gets in there. But you know, and if you've you go. got so a then when I do the shake, oh. right, it gets all my coffee. You did the shake and the knock. Nicely yeah. distributed, yeah. That's right. um, so I really do like that a lot. Mm. So our coffee is done again. About four and a half minutes on that. Minutes. Then you got the lid. Mm -hmm. Oh, did did you want to try a little bit of the? I'll uh, tell you. Yeah, give me give me just a little nip okay. of that right there. We'll do a little little sharing here. And again, the coffee we're doing is the Joe Bean, uh, Don Francisco, and Blanca. You're going to have to say the last name for uh, me. Nieve. Nieve, okay. So, and this it's been is a really while nice. Class, I think. Reusable silicone yeah. lids. It really feels like I just went to uh, the cafe. Yeah, and it really does look like that, except you're not going to throw mm -hmm. that one in the garbage, no, right? No, no. Actually, Camelback, uh, you know, if you've seen any of the little videos that we've got on the page, they're mm -hmm. all about reducing waste. So, you know, not only by eliminating K cups, say, with your Capresso here, but eliminating paper waste for cups with a multi-bev. 
This is, you know, I, I love, I'm 40 bucks, really. 40 bucks? For that, and I've got the double insulated mug. I've got, you can make the coffee without the stupid plastic cups that I mm -hmm. hate. And uh, that that's great. So one more time real quick, the multi-bev. Yep, Camelback multi-bev. The Jameson. Not, the Jameson, no. yes, yes. I'll leave that uh, alone. The not neutral, the Vero Cortado glasses. Mm -hmm. We've got the nanotech basket. Right oh, which there. is in is actually that's in, in here now. Basket. We're using that. Um, do like those a lot. It's pretty much mm -hmm. all I use anymore. The also short dosing ring. There is a taller one too. So if your With grinder has more clearance. And then uh, last but not least, the Capresso on the go coffee maker. That's awesome. And then and we did, we just snuck in the little, snuck, snuck, in, there, snuck in the portafilter tool. Little cameos from some of our other favorites, maybe. That's right. All right, well, Nick, well, thanks so much for taking us through. Um, great gift ideas, under mm -hmm. 50 bucks for the coffee lovers in your life. Um, I, I really do like them all. A couple, I, I, kind of, I think I want to give somebody one of these. Yeah. You know, so, okay. Well, guys, if you like this stuff, you know, do subscribe to the channel um, and join us back here soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.